Do you remember when I was completely alone in my life, then you were the one who supported me in every way, now I am with you in every situation. Thank you very much Eba, I feel better now. In fact, it is a big advantage of both husband and wife working that in times of crisis, both can support each other and face all the difficulties together. <coughs> it is becoming very difficult, I do not understand anything about money management, what should I do? We only have this one house left. This is the last hope, Kendra I am thinking about the house, we can mortgage the house and give the money to Emma's in-laws. Who knows, even if you give money by mortgaging the house, these people will improve. Everyone is greedy for number one? We don't have any other option, if the money is not given then they will throw Emma out of the house. So will we keep Emma in our house for the rest of her life? What will people say? Think a little? Many parents think that it is better to keep their daughter in her maternal home than to leave her to suffer torture in her in-law's house. How many innocent girls die because of this thinking? Life gets ruined. Let us look further now. Listen, come a little early from the company today, we have to go to the doctor. Can't say anything, depends on the meetings. If I couldn't come then you go alone. Oh no! Yes, he keeps attending so many meetings, and now, he is also investing a lot of money, then how is he incurring so much loss in the business? This much loss has never happened before. Liza, you must have got the sketch of all the latest designs. Yes, Ebba, I've got them. Very good, bring all the printouts to my table. I have kept all the printouts on your table in the morning itself. Oh great, Sophia has been suggested a model, she will be arriving right now, please send her to my cabin. Right Ebba. Oh hello, I am Kitty where is Abba? Hi Kitty. Madam, call me Kitty Madam. Yes Kitty Madam, Abba's cabin is in the first left corner. Hey Abba. Kitty? Who else could be? Kitty, please have a seat. Ebba explained the market expectations of the new project thoroughly to Kitty so that there was no compromise in the output. And here in Emma's house. The number you've dialed is currently busy. Hey, he is not picking up the phone. It's time for doctor's appointment, I try once more. I told you that I will be busy in the meeting. Why are you calling me again and again, nonsense? Frank was busy in a meeting so Emma goes alone to meet the doctor. Emma, I already told you, you have no problem, next time you will bring your husband with you and get him tested too. Okay madam, thank you. Emma was very serious about her pregnancy, that is why she left the hospital thinking of bringing Frank along with her next time. Taxi Ebba was returning home from office and suddenly her eyes fell on Emma, when Emma was waiting for a taxi on the roadside. Emma's sister. Ebba was very happy to see her sister after so many years. 
Sister, how are you? You have forgotten me, right? Hey, how can I forget like this? By the way, I'm fine, tell me how are you? I will tell you all later. Let's go to a coffee shop. Both the sisters went to a coffee shop nearby. Ebba, you are still the same, you have not changed at all. You are very cool. But you have changed sister, it seems you have become a little more intelligent and you are looking very beautiful and sorry too. Well, you got married? Yes sister, what else would I do, where would I go? After completing the course, I went home to meet mom and dad but both of them are still very angry. They will never accept me. Forgive me Ebba, it's all my fault. If I had not told about you and Hank that day, all this would not have happened. Leave it now, sister, whatever was to happen has happened. Okay, tell me how is my brother-in-law? He is very nice, loves me a lot, even takes me out for outings. Wow wow full romantic, okay send a photo of both of you. Okay, I will send it now. Okay, how are mom and dad? Yes, both of them are also fine, I will meet mom and dad and try to make them understand, maybe their anger will reduce. Please sister, make them understand that I miss them a lot. Well Ebba, I should get going it's quite late now. Let me drop you. No no, I will leave. Oh come on sister. Your company has also given this car. Oh come on, this is my car. Why would the company give it? Ebba took Emma to her in-law's house in her car. Ebba, sorry, I can't invite you inside the house. I can understand sister, a girl who has run away from home does not get respect anywhere. Anyway we will meet soon. Love you bye. Love you too. After saying goodbye to Ebba, Emma came inside the house. Hey darling, the money is coming, it will be done, don't be angry at all, please let's meet tomorrow at your favorite restaurant, then we will make further plans there, okay? For more updates, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.